This twist is one of my favorites. I call it the synchronized swimming twist because that's what it reminds me of, is things that synchronized swimmers do in the water. Thankfully, this one's done on the floor, so it should be a little bit easier than in the water. It's a great release for the low back and for the hips. It also takes a little bit of focus, so it keeps your mind present. Very, very soothing twist. Here's how it goes. I'm gonna lie down on your back and take your arms out wide to the side. Taking your knees over to one side, we'll start on the right today. So both knees have now gone to the right. I'm gonna straighten my top leg and I'm gonna draw that top leg up towards the sky and across my body. This bent knee is totally relaxed, just getting dragged over to the other side. When my straight leg hits the floor, I bend the knee, bring the other leg on top, then straighten that new top leg, lift the leg up and over, letting it drag the other leg behind it. When the leg hits the floor, I bend the knee, bring the new top leg on top, straighten my leg, and continue on. The hardest thing about this twist is really letting that bent knee drag behind. This gives you a great opening into your hips and inner thighs, so it's totally worth it. If you choose to engage that leg, you'll miss out on all that opening, and that would be a real shame. I hope you enjoy the synchronized swimming twist. You can integrate it into your practice either at the beginning, the end, or the middle. I usually do it at the end just because I find it to be very soothing. But some days it's awfully hard to focus by the end of your practice. And obviously this takes a little bit of focus.